Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. This is a review of the Wemos D1 Mini version 3. Here is the board in its latest version. This is the ESP8266EX CPU. A 26 megahertz crystal to drive the CPU. External flash 4 megabytes, 32 megabit for 8 bits are 32 megabits uh, a resettable fuse 500 milliamp an LED some mounting holes have been added familiar reset switch external antenna and pinouts are identical to the earlier versions on the rear of the board the CH340G has been replaced by a CH340C, which is a slightly different specification. And now there's a useful solder jumper that goes between reset and D0. So if you're doing any projects with deep sleep, you can bridge that solder jumper. So the Wemos D1 Mini version 3. So the uh, Wemos D1 Mini has been through a number of iterations as version 1 was never labelled as version 1 but I labelled that here for convenience then a version 2.2 a version 2.3 and now finally 3 and, and uh, very lastly 3.1 they've all got subtle differences on layout you can see the top and bottom of each board. Uh, the first three versions up to 2.1 had the FCC uh, probably new metal screening around the CPU uh, flash memory. So what's different? Well the 26 megahertz crystal has replaced what was a 12 megahertz crystal. Functionally it probably doesn't make any difference the ESP8266 EX processor has replaced the ESP8266S the addition of the 500 milliamp fuse as a thermal fuse so when it gets when too much current is drawn it reduces current flow when it cools down it returns to normal uh, the 4 megabyte external flash the replacement of the UART, the sleep link and the mounting holes. I think the resettable fuse is quite useful as is the sleep link. So is there any difference in performance? Well I took a version 1 and 3.1 board and I ran, there's the benchmark I ran and timed how long it took with the uh, millisecond timer and uh, it, the performance was identical. In summary then the version 3 board offers an identical programming and performance environment to version 1 or 2. The component count has been lowered and it appears to have lost FCC certification or well, there's no evidence of it having that certification. The branding has changed from Wemos to Lolin and overall it's been an evolution rather than a revolution there's no radical change in design and that's in my mind a good thing because the board remains stable in its design. So that was the version 3 Wemos D1 Mini. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 